Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Malia. Okay, you guys, this is actually a tester vlog. I don't know if I'll actually post this because I'm using my vlog camera for like the first time in like five to six years. You know, that's a long time. I bought this camera originally when I first started my YouTube channel. I made like 10 videos. I thought I was gonna be the next Emma Chamberlain. I thought I was gonna get famous right away for some reason. And I never used the camera ever again. Here's the thing, I liked the camera initially, but then I noticed that like if I didn't have good lighting, the camera just like did not work. But I don't know if it's because I changed the settings so much on my camera, that's why. But I tried to like, I tried to reset the settings to see if it's like more natural. So this is gonna be a tester vlog. I'm doing my hair today. I'm taking the braids out. I'm gonna go to the hair store to get some new hair. So yeah, I gotta take my braids out. I gotta wash it. And that's really all I gotta do for today. It's gonna be a long process. So I'm just gonna go to the beauty shop first to get the stuff. I think it's literally called like beauty supply sh store. Well, I know it's by Chuck E. Cheese. So I'm just gonna put Chuck E. Cheese in <laughs> and I'll, I'll end up over there in the same area. So we're gonna get going. Okay, but if this camera works out, I'm gonna be so excited because then I'm gonna start using this vlog camera until I can really afford a vlog camera that like I really want that's been on my list for like two years it's just like a little expensive so if this works out I may do my camera for certain videos and my phone for other videos but it depends I feel like I can't tell if it's focusing really well or not but also like the Sun is like not on me so let's see I got to see if I like back out but I don't want people to know where I live okay right here the Sun is hitting me you see how if the Sun is hitting it's so much better but I feel like with my iPhone I don't need good lighting all the time to still get good footage but I don't know also I don't have a fucking child I do not have a kid that is my niece's baby seat <laughs> I was like what do people think I have a kid absolutely not usually I don't post usually I don't post but I want the world to know time to pull a drop top out summer nights it's a vibe yeah we've been keeping it in the house Netflix and chilling I GDM and yeah didn't want to share my love till I found someone I'm sure of young and untamed I've been out of range keeping it low but I want to be bold with it don't care we told about it wow baby got a hold on it don't let love unfold tonight they'll be calling us go dark it is like I feel like I have to get really close okay I'm gonna turn my car around literally just so I can get better lighting as soon as you're like in front of the Sun you can actually see me and there's actually good lighting in the camera so oh my god I'm not too sure how I like that because if there's no Sun how much does it film I guess I could also get a light maybe I'll get a light anyways let me show you what I got from the beauty supply store also I forgot to mention that this camera is the Canon SX740HS. It's kind, I say it's a dupe for the Canon G7X because a lot of people that have that camera, I feel like this is like a better beginner vlogging camera. It still has that like flip screen. So like I'm looking at the screen, but I can also like obviously look in the lens to like talk. So I can see myself, which is really nice. First, I got this edge scarf. I'm gonna start doing my edges, you guys, because I used to hate like every time I get my hair done, I used to hate the way the ladies would do my edges so I would never do them. But then I forgot that I could just make my edges simple and just make it look more clean on the sides. So I'm gonna start doing my edges. I know, I'm 25 and I still don't do my edges. Let's not talk about it. Then I got a new satin braid bonnet and a satin bonnet, just like a normal one. I already have both of these two things. I can't find this one. I just used it like three days ago and I can't find it. So see, what's with the lighting? Mmm, I don't know. The lighting takes a minute to like load back to like normal. Um, I have this braid bonnet one, but I couldn't find it like I was saying. So I just decided to get a new one. And then also I feel like 
the ones that I have, I've just had them for so long and like I'll wash them, but I just feel like they're thinning out. So I just decided to get new ones. Then I finally got a new bonnet. I usually always get the cheetah print one or like leopard print, but I decided to just do classic black. That's so different for me. Okay, I got those two things and I got some shine and jam for my edges because this stuff will make it hold. And I got a little brush for it. I would just use a toothbrush, but I was like, let me get an actual little, you know, edge brush for that. I got a couple hair ties just in case I need some extra ones. Oh my God, it's so sunny out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. This, this isn't the camera's fault. This is the sun's fault now. So whatever. Okay, and then lastly, I just got, I don't want to take it out of the bag because it's kind of big, but I showed it in the video. I just got some hair extensions, but it's more of like a natural curly kinky texture so i feel like that goes better with my actual hair texture um so i'm gonna be doing that either tonight or tomorrow when i put my new style in so i got all my supplies honestly i'm just ready to like get these braids out it's just the braids are actually still really good especially in the back like you're still connected it's just the front jump scare oh my god imagine if i was just bald um <laughs> it's just like um really it's really grown out in the front and then also i feel like i can't clean it as well anymore okay hello everyone so i did about half of my hair here so far i've taken out this front part is all braided here mm, yeah yeah i really don't have that much more to do which is good i unbraided for about like an hour and a half and i just watched some youtube videos in the meantime so this is the next layer that I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I really don't have that much more to do, which is really good. I'm doing good time here. So I'm going to show you how I take out the braid first. Well, let me get like a few of them. First, what I do is I cut because I'm not trying to unbraid from all the way down here. Usually I cut it until like my shoulders because that's like where my natural hair would be straight. So I just do like that much that... Hmm, I may have cut a little too much on that. I'll live. So, <laughs> I do that first, and then it makes it so much easier to unbraid. So then you just unbraid it like normal. I'm going to be making a smoothie soon, because I'm getting a little hungry. All I ate this morning was a McDonald's breakfast sandwich. <laughs> so, I'm going to just unbraid a few of these, go make a smoothie. I'll show myself making a smoothie for you guys. And I decided I may actually... I may actually make this into like a real vlog and I may just post a couple videos for this next week but I make no promises because yeah I'm trying to be consistent with my videos so I'm gonna cut like here usually I don't post usually I don't post but I want the world to know I'm a good catch, but I never let him catch me. No, I never let him play me. Wild thing, try to take me. But you got my mood on sunshine. Let's take a trip. Souls on big smile. Let's get this lick. Stars are in the night. I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight. I want to be bold with it. Don't care who we told about it. Wow, we got a hold on it. Don't let love on for tonight. They'll be calling us gold. No Okay, you guys, I finished detangling my hair. Once again, I look like the girl from Polar Express. <laughs> now it's time to wash the hair, but I want to show you the products that I use. 
So these are the products that I use. Tea Tree Lavender Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. Honestly, this is my mom's shampoo, and I just want, didn't want to buy a whole thing of shampoo when I got back home from Spain. So I just asked her if I could just borrow this, and I really like it. So this is what I use, and it's really big, so we both use this. For right now, I just use this as my conditioner. I've just had this for a really long time. So I'm just using it up. Until I finish it, then I'll probably get a different one. But for right now, this is what I use from Pantene. And for my after shower products, I use the Auntie Jackie's Leave-In Conditioner. So do a little bit of this. And this is this is probably my favorite product that I use. The Shea Moisture Hydrate Repair Whipped Curl Cream. I think this is what makes my hair so hydrated and like not so dry. So I use this. When I stopped using this, I feel like my hair got really dry and like the ends were just really dry. So as soon as I brought this back into my routine, I've been liking it. So buy it. <laughs> essentially and then I also will use this Mia oh my gosh is it out it's almost out um, I use this Miel oil but those are all the products I use for my hair wash day I have like other hair products that I use but that's just what I'll be using for today so I'm gonna hop in the shower get it all good and that's about it for right now okay you guys we're at the last part of this hair day i'm so over it i'm gonna show this side for the last part i just did this side i used to section my hair off into like six to eight different parts but i'm too lazy to do that and honestly i realized that on a wash day i just do four parts and i just let i just sleep in that because every time i section my hair too small on a wash day or i try to like put it into bantu knots or something like that it just doesn't look good the next day like it needs to be dry or whatever so first what i do is i take the twist down and i always dry my hair with a t-shirt a cotton t-shirt and i was using this earlier to dry my hair i took two showers actually so i washed my hair in the first shower and then i put in conditioner at the end of it and i wanted the conditioner to set that's like a deep condition you know i don't have like the other tools for it so I just let that sit in my hair for a while so I went to the grocery store <laughs> and I got a few things and then I came back I still let it sit for a little bit and now is when I'm finishing it off so yeah I used the t-shirt to dry then I go in with a Denman brush Denmon brush whatever wait whatever this says I use this brush so then I go in and I brush it um, if you have really tangly hair, I recommend brushing it at the bottom first, like the ends here. But I do like a pretty good job on detangling my hair every time I wash it. Um, so I usually don't have like hair on this when I'm brushing it through. I think I'm doing it right. I don't really know, but my hair personally looks kind of healthy. <laughs> Shrinkage, length check. I take like a little piece right here boom you see that wow shrinkage is crazy I'm hungry my pizza is cooking right now I'm so excited for it okay then I go in with the miel oil miel rosemary mint oil and I put this in my scalp okay and then I just Use my fingers. If you have a scalp massager, use that. I want to get one. Then I'll go in with this leave-in conditioner by Auntie Jackie, Aunt, Aunt Jackie. And I'll just do a little bit of that, like a pea size. Once I put the leave-in conditioner in, I just finger detangle. I don't use the brush anymore. So I just finger detangle that in my hair. So I do that and I do from like the middle to the end for the leave-in conditioner. And then I go in with the product that I really like, the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Whipped Curl Cream. Like maybe this much or more, kind of eyeball it. And I just place this all over the hair. Do not neglect the back of your hair on this side. So once that's in, it's all over the hair. I use a little bit more of the Miel Oil, just a little bit. A couple drops. And I'll do this to the bottom part, the ends of my hair. 
and I'll work it up because then the oil will lock in all that moisture so it will lock in the conditioner and the shea butter whatever this stuff is the curl cream <laughs> I section it off in the two parts and I just twist I could do a three strand twist but I'm just not fast with it so compared to the two strands so I just do two strands and once again I don't care how the hair is gonna turn out tomorrow because I'm putting it into a style tomorrow okay and there's that one so if you want to see the style that I end up putting in my hair go to my YouTube shorts because I'm gonna be making a vertical video of that my goal this year is to make more YouTube shorts and try to make like little trailers kind of for my YouTube channel so people can see my long form content videos and then I'm gonna put the bonnet on I feel like this bonnet's kind of small so I feel like I hope it doesn't like oh yeah, it's kind of tight I hope it doesn't irritate me when I sleep because I don't want to get a headache I think we're done oh my god I'm so happy I can go to sleep it's been a journey it's been a time I'm over it I'm tired I'm hungry but I'm happy because I accomplished all of it and everyone pray that I can figure out this style for tomorrow because if not, I'm gonna look bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. There's a one brief. We lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. There's nothing moves forward. It just stays the same. Uh, think you know the answer, but you're playing a game. Do you feel what I feel?